where Hong Kong stands out from a lot of societies. One of the reasons why I came is uh, energy and the Ken Duesberg. When I came to Hong Kong in 1998, we had the vision to have world-class racing in Hong Kong. And if you look at now, we have achieved this. Now we have 0.7% of the world's horse population, but we have 8 to 9% of the best horses are trained in Hong Kong. We had, at that time, no race who was in the international group one category. We have now 12 races. And we created racing festivals one of the global racing festivals, especially the Long Trains Hong Kong International Races, which is an envy of the world. Horse racing in Hong Kong is a symbol for Hong Kong's resilience and the prosperity of Hong Kong. And that was the vision to internalize racing, but in the end, to make contribution to the betterment of Hong Kong. And if you see, in 2007-8, we had a tax contribution of 13 billion. Our charity donations was around a billion. If you fast forward to now, our tax contribution is nearly 25 billion, and our charity donations regular is 4.5. I think one of our contributions to the anniversary is uh, Hong Kong Palace Museum, which we uh, donated 3.5 billion to facilitate such a development. We believe understanding history, understanding Chinese culture is extremely important. It goes how we can create sustaining value and long-lasting value and impact for the community. For us, I think it's very important to think not only in five years dimension, to think in 20, 25 years dimension. And that's the strength of the club, of a very strategic approach and the ability to plan and to implement and to create value. Our Shungfa plan, where we plan to have, besides the training center, which we double in capacity to be prepared for further expansion, innovation of number of horses and, and races. And if you look at the horse racing side, there will be a breeding industry in China. Horse racing is a selection process for breeding. So therefore, it's a whole economic value chain, which is a long-term development and will take likely 20 to 30 years. Hong Kong has had always the ability to overcome difficulties, to master challenges and moving forward. And this is for me important, that we keep our spirit of never give up, always be positive about the future, which has enabled us with one passion to make unique contribution to uh, the mainland and last not least to Hong Kong people.